Hey guys, here at EBMX, this is absolutely awesome, Keith. Look at this bike. We have been waiting to show the world our modded EBMX Australia, Siron Lightbee, and Keith Clark, you have turned out an absolute treat here, mate. Well done. It's a beauty. It is, it's probably one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, Siron Lightbee build in the whole world, but certainly the most expensive that we've done here at EBMX Australia. Really proud to talk and show our viewers through this build, and I'm just walking around the bike a little bit to give you guys a look at some of the parts. And then, Keith, I'm going to get you to talk us through exactly how you've made this one, mate, because you are the maestro of modding EBMX Suron bikes. Well, yeah. First off, first off, we put these ferro forks on. They they fitted perfectly, not a problem, and they're nice and plush. Really yeah. nice. Look look at those, and I'll just show people the view from the top, the crown is as well. So these are the um, these are the first uh, ferro forks that we've put on here. Of course, they're made by EXT. So here in Australia, these are our first forks. The bike looks awesome and new at the moment, so we actually haven't taken it out and tested it on the MX track yet, but yeah. that's going to be happening soon, Keith. We will. Um, but a lot, very adjustable, these forks. They yeah. look awesome. They're made especially by EXT for the Suron and Talaria uh, builds. Um, so loving these forks, mate. And what about the rear shock because that's also an ext shock if we go to the back of the bike this is the the armor shock and we're running a 600 pound spring yeah. um you're going to set this up for the rider's weight when we do our testing out on the track soon yeah but pretty easy to set up mm -hmm. good information they've sent through with the box so it's really it's yeah. really easy this obviously looks awesome as well we're going to be comparing it directly against our own EBMX um, rear shock and linkage that's made by YSS, uh, especially for EBMX. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Um, right, let's talk us through exactly all of the different mods and parts that are on the bike. Where do you want to start, my friend? Um, let's start from the top. Let's go. Yes, we've got some different grips. Yep. That's X9000 display. Mm -hmm. That's that nice. Oh, that's what you were switch. doing before, man. Let's have another go of that yellow, white, EBMX light. Oh, we can switch it off, yeah. That's pretty awesome. I like that. There are some flashy lights out there, but that, that's pretty nice. We've got the riser bars, EBMX. Mm -hmm. And the regeneration for the X9000. We have, and there's a uh, stem there as well, isn't there? A direct mount EBMX stem that's holding up those yeah. bars. So it's a nice, solid feel. These are proper MX bars, Keith. Yeah. So they're not going to melt like butter when you, right. when you drop the bike. You're not going to bend these easily. Even, even my weight, I'm not going to bend these. <laughs> and you've kept the switch here. Now, that's set up to be able to go forward and reverse as well using our X9000, yeah. mate, isn't it? With the app, you can change that so you can put a reverse on. Yeah, okay. Nice and simple. It is, it is indeed. You've got reverse, obviously, here as well. But I prefer when I'm riding to have the reverse here because it's really easy to flick over. Old eyes like mine, it's a little bit harder on the smallest W102 display. Um, and that's that light, it's, uh, it's very bright, adjustable, mm -hmm. and that bolts straight on with its bracket. Straight on, no adjustment. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. It's really nice. That's all up on the, uh, the EBMX website of people. If you're interested, there will be a full list of parts here in the description of this YouTube video too, guys. And we've got our little um, plate, yeah, plate. that's our EBMX ignition plate. Do you want to open up to show people, because we've got the EBMX race battery in. So this is a 72 volt, 42 amp hour stainless steel. But with the race battery, um, the BMS settings are quite different. So we've done away with the old air switch and you've got the big QS connector in there. And this can um, pump out almost 30 kilowatts of power with the X9 at the moment and this race battery. Um, and Keith, this is one of the first upgraded EBMX 
uh, light beam motors in the world. This one is an awesome gold color, which obviously matches its X9000. Yeah. They come in all different colors. We've yeah. got purple, we've purple, got gold, red, red, blue, and, and black. So we just matched mm. it up with the gold heat sink on the X9000. Yeah, mate, it's, it it's not, it, it's sort of a black and gold theme, this one. Quite often, as you know, Keith, we put decals on our bikes. You can look around here, guys, and see, you know, some of the EBMX bikes of all the decals. But this one, we've sort of gone for a nice, naked, plain look. And I reckon it's absolutely awesome. What do you guys think? So keep talking us through what else we've done to the bike, mate, because really every single part, other than the frame, subframe seat and wiring harness have been been replaced haven't yeah. they yeah let's go down to so this the rear triangle and yep. the linkage have been changed to rated ebmx sure are mate yeah they work swing well swing arm extended swing arm 65 mil longer so it makes that short little bike uh, a lot easier to keep the power down as i say we're running 30 kilowatts on this bike and um, while i was there we put a um, the chain ch conversion, chain on, conversion on there because we had a big tire with nobbles on here. Yeah, so primary belt driven the Siron Light B. So Keith changed that over to a uh, a chain conversion. That's um, actually a reduction chain kit. That's two one nine reduction kit. Yeah, so they're made by our friends at American Siron Dirty Bike Industries, and they're absolutely awesome, Keith. While we're down there, you can see the upgraded EBMX uh, foot pegs and brace. There's the brace in there, so. They're super sexy, those gold ones from um, from EBMX, mate. This, um, the motor has to have this special. That's our EBMX guard. motor guard. So yeah, it's made. It's purpose made. It comes with the uh, the upgraded motor. When you order an EBMX upgraded motor, uh, you get the bash plate as well. Um, can't guarantee that other bash plates are actually going to fit with the motor because the motor is a little bit bigger than the OEM one, Keith. Let me. Let me come around the other side here. Just before I do that, uh, we've opted for a 64 tooth premium alloy sprocket, EBMX, black, sexy as. Um, and 64 tooth, we find, is a really good setup on the 21, 18, 21, 19 wheel combos. Um, if you do get an upgraded EBMX motor and you're running like a 48 OEM sprocket, don't do it. Your minimum you want is a 58. And even on a 64, this bike is going to push out to something crazy like 120, 130k an hour, effortless and easily. <laughs> As we've been finding in testing, Keith, haven't we? These things are super fast. Now, we've got some interesting sand tyres on the back here. So we're going to go and find a really sandy motocross track, I think, to yeah. test this one out, there mate. Tell us about the rest of this bike, okay, Keith. Okay, we've got... The EBMX 250 rotors on there. Nice, nice. We've actually had to space this very slightly to make them fit. Yeah, with yeah. Shimano, Shimano brake ice pads. brake pads. Yeah, they'll give it a lot more stopping power than the OEM, won't it? Um, the extended kickstands here, I notice as well. So when you go more than the 19 wheels, you put a big uh, front and rear. You're going to raise the bike by an inch and a half, two inches. Yeah. So this is going to do the job. It's completely changeable, the extended kickstand. Um, you've done a little blackout job here, I can see, because yeah. that's usually green, isn't it, my friend? I don't like the green. I've actually <laughs> missed a bit of green here. I need to get rid of this. Oh, the green on the, uh, that's on the front brake. Yeah. That's got to go. Yeah. Well, I think that's just about the John Dory, Keith, on yeah. this bike, but really keen for audience viewers' feedback. Um, Remembering that EBMX Australia have just started a new YouTube channel um, and we would love you to subscribe. Lots of likes and comments, it really helps us out, guys. As I said, we'll leave a full product description and some links um, here on the page. And yeah, tell us if you've seen a more expensive or better looking uh, Suron Lightbe build. Um, yeah, love to get your feedback. Keith, thanks so much for building this really gorgeous, sexy bike. Yeah. Can't wait for your next build, my friend. Cheers, Cheers from EBMX.